At the beginning of 2021, there was an unexpected but welcomed twist in my life. As a devoted gamer, I had been streaming on Twitch off and on during my time at NYU, dabbling in various genres that came my way. However, it was during this period that my Twitch channel began gaining momentum, much to my astonishment. I started noticing a swell in the number of my followers, which wasn't just heartening, but an incredible validation for the content I was putting out there. What was, to some extent, a hobby took a significant leap forward. With the surge in the number of followers, my streams became more than just playing games or discussing the latest gaming equipment, but a personal platform where my love for digital arts and gaming were reaching like-minded individuals across the globe. Indeed, this surge marked the beginning of my transformative journey into the digital arts realm, witnessing the fruition of my constant efforts milling with the fervor of my followers. Amidst the fast pace of university life, shepherding my newfound Twitch popularity was a delightful undertaking. The very essence of communicating, connecting, and sharing with other passionate individuals from my corner of the screen was a thrilling experience that tied directly with my desires and aspirations for my career. From the impromptu interactions during my live streams to the countless messages of appreciation and suggestions that poured in afterwards, it was an overwhelming positivity that pushed me to put in more effort. Though I must admit, managing academic responsibilities with Twitch's burgeoning demands posed its challenges. Each stream was an event of labor and love, requiring meticulous preparation, from getting the tech setup right to researching games and making sure the streaming environment reflected my personality. Coupled with my educational commitments, my life was becoming a whirlwind of manic schedules and demanding responsibilities. But there was a fantastic feeling of fulfillment accompanying these tasks, a sense of purpose that I was indeed following my heart. The echoing sounds of laughter, playful banter, and communal sharing that came through my Twitch streams were an affirmation to continue juggling this electrifying chaos. They were proof that while my path was unusual, it was also peppered with encouragement and admiration from those I connected with. In a way, these instances of joy became a fuel for me to persist, pushing boundaries and continuously learning, not just academically, but about myself and the areas I was so keen to excel in. Eventually, streaming on Twitch was not just about gaming anymore. It became an avenue for me to share my love for digital art in an interactive way. As I became more tech-savvy, I started incorporating elements of my digital art into my Twitch streams, quickly realizing that my audience was as excited about my 3D designs as they were about gaming. Since then, my Twitch streams also became a virtual art podium, where the interplay of gaming and digital art was not just a confluence of my interests, but also a unique offering for my followers. In December 2021, as the year was drawing to a close, I faced a challenging personal blow. The man I had been seeing, Ethan, announced that he was moving out of state for job purposes. Ethan and I had started dating when I was still studying and streaming on Twitch part-time. We both shared a common ground in our love for technology and gaming, aspects that initially drew us together. When he broke the news to me, the harsh truth of distance and diverging career paths hit home. I admit that the thought of a long-distance relationship crossed my mind, but because both of us were in the initial stages of our respective careers— it would have been too daunting a task to handle a relationship stretched thin over miles. This reality was a tough pill to swallow, but my pragmatic side understood his decision. He was prioritizing his career just as I was mine. Our breakup was heartrending, breakups always are, but I chose to view it as a testament to my strength, my ability to make tough decisions while prioritizing my aspirations over emotional ties. It was by no means an easy path, and the breakup left a natural void in my life. Focusing on streaming and my work in this turbulent period was tough, but in hindsight, immensely crucial. The decision to part ways with someone who was a significant part of your life is both a liberating and daunting experience. Moments of loneliness were interspersed with periods of self-discovery, teaching me that solitude can sometimes be the key to understanding oneself deeper. I had to pick up the pieces and continue the journey alone, learning to negotiate life's tricky turns solo. In the midst of this personal upheaval, I was also in my last year at NYU. There's a unique sense of bittersweet happiness that comes with endings, 
and the end of my university life was no different. I felt this strange concoction of relief and nostalgia, paired with anxiety and anticipation for what life had in store next for me. This journey of self-discovery and growth was a cornerstone to the person I was becoming, shaping me into a resilient woman, braving life's tides while pursuing my passions. There were many days when the weight of everything felt too heavy to bear, but that never stopped me. On those days, I would disconnect from the world, sit by the window overlooking the busy streets of New York, and lose myself in the rhythm of life that ebbed outside my window. Those moments of solitude provided solace, subtly healing the turmoil within while empowering me to continue my journey through the digital arts realm. Having walked the journey of my college life with the small steps of diligence and tireless efforts was both a fulfilling and strenuous climb. The start of 2022 spun by in the blink of an eye, with the best possible momentum, and I realized the immense strength required to learn to let go. Still healing from my breakup with Ethan, I found solace in diving into my work, moving from one project to another with a relentless urge to excel. Memories of the NYU classrooms, the endless coffee sessions, and the pressure of deadlines seemed like a distant memory, replaced now by the thrill of working on my own terms. February 2022 was the commencement of my final year at NYU. I have to confess, I was a tangled mess of nerves, anticipation, and a simmering sense of relief as I submitted my final project. But it wasn't just another project to me. Every line of code I wrote, every virtual model I created in that project, echoed the culmination of my passion, tethered with my capacity to bring technology and art together. With each passing day, I immersed myself deeper into my work, wrapping myself around the unique blend of creative stimulation and technical demands required to create a consummate digital art piece. It was as if the digital realm had become my refuge, where an alternate reality was being shaped under my fingertips, helping me heal, grow, and discover myself all over again. The whir of my desktop fan, the surrealist glow of my VR headset, the gentle hum of my fingertips moving on my tablet, they all held a familiar comfort, aiding my journey through the emotional whirlwind of my personal life. I channeled all my creative muses into my project, focusing hard on creating something that wasn't just a testament to my academic journey, but also a bold step towards my freelance career. Every late-night struggle buried deep into my workstations, every moment of success, and even every instance of code's block subjected me to a cyclone of mixed emotions. When the day arrived to present my work, actually seeing the fruits of my endless endeavors and sleepless nights unfold in front of me was a rampant rush of exhilaration and pride. It was as though a fragment of my soul had been captured in this digital creation. I saw a clear representation of my dedication and perseverance in the face of life's whims, and that was more rewarding than any grade or accolade. This arduous journey drew in a renewed sense of confidence and assertiveness in my professional potential. Even though I was stepping out of the university gate towards an uncertain future, I knew I had acquired the skills, resilience, and the fire to stand tall in the face of any challenge that came my way. This sense of empowerment continues to fuel my passion, not only towards my work, but towards my very approach to life. This project wasn't just a completion of an academic requirement, but a significant monument marking a new beginning in the wide open space of digital arts. Shortly after navigating my way through finals and celebrating my successful project submission, a new chapter in my love life unfolded. It was at this time that I met Zach, a kindred spirit who channeled the same enthusiasm for digital arts that was intricately woven into my DNA. Our paths had crossed online, a space where both our talents thrived and soon our budding friendship took a romantic twist. Our online interactions were full of shared interests and it felt like a natural extension to take our growing friendship to the next level. When we transitioned our digital connection into an in-person relationship, the virtual world that had been my refuge carried a new spark, mirrored in our shared passion for digital art. The love that had wilted from my past relationships seemed to find a resurgence with Zach, sending a wave of quiet comfort washing over me. However, Navigating the complex terrain of burgeoning professional life while fostering a budding romance was not without its share of challenges and hiccups. Both working in the same industry 
meant a calendar filled with competing schedules that required deft juggling. Recipes for quick, healthy meals replaced cafe lunch dates as we strove to balance our shared interest in maintaining a fit lifestyle. Movie nights were often replaced by joint brainstorming over a VR headset. While our shared interests fostered a strong bond, the challenges we faced were not unfounded. Our dynamic was as compelling as it was challenging, a tightrope walk that required careful balancing. On one hand, sharing the same profession brought a deeper understanding of the pressures and demands each of us faced. But on the flip side, it meant the blurred line between our professional and personal lives. It was an uncharted territory, and each day brought its own learning. Yet this complex blend of love and art served as a new beacon of inspiration in my life. It showed me the dynamics of intertwining my personal and professional life and how to strike a balance between the two. The fast-paced world of digital arts, the love for VR, the shared experiences and the complex negotiations, everything had an impact on my perspective, broadening my understanding of the digital world and life itself. Our relationship continued to evolve in the backdrop of bustling New York City. But with every rise and ebb, I learned valuable lessons about myself and the world I was so fervently invested in. It was a journey I wouldn't trade for anything. It was a journey that was unique to us, sprouting from shared enthusiasm for the digital arts and cultivated amidst the confluence of personal and professional life. It seemed that with every passing day, my digital awakening was maturing into a compelling journey towards personal realization and professional fulfillment. As Zach and I voyaged deeper into our mutual love for the digital realm, my understanding of the intricate interweaving of personal feelings and professional commitments took on newfound depth. This unique bond we fostered was akin to the vibrant, pulsating pixels of the digital canvas we both reveled in, contrasting shades of joy, frustration, passion, and exhaustion, painting a vivid picture of our lives. It was a complex blend of love and art that, while beautifully fulfilling, also demanded a dance with intricate steps. The horizon of my digital exploration expanded further as I allowed the ripple effects of our relationship to seep into my professional life. Each shared experience, every technical discourse, every debate on VR nuances amplified my comprehension of the digital art world. And within these complex negotiations, our shared love for VR was more than a touchstone. It was as dense and opaque as a black hole, absorbing our collective energies and then bursting forth in a nova of creativity and understanding. But the evolving dance between my personal and professional life was not just a rainbow-hued journey down a yellow brick road. The road was winding, often uphill and not without its share of potholes and obstacles. Competing deadlines, rigorous freelancing assignments, coupled with the labor of love that was my increasing Twitch stream, the reality was that our shared landscape was as challenging as it was exciting. However, far from turning into a theater of discord, these challenges presented themselves as valuable lessons that shaped my persona, both in the digital art world and in my personal sphere. I understood the importance of boundaries of respecting our shared enthusiasm while valuing our unique professional commitments. As the relationship dynamics played out, my art started reflecting the rainbow after a storm, a testament to my evolving maturity as an artist and as an individual. But amidst the challenges, there were moments so beautifully raw that they stole my breath away. Moments when Zach would satiate my technical curiosities with his insights, paving way for intellectual conversations that lasted long into the night. Moments when we'd stream together, our combined energy creating a space that was warm, inviting, and magnetizing to our audience. Moments of quiet companionship when we worked side by side, the click of our keys singing a duet that echoed with shared ambition and dreams. Looking back at this unique chapter of my journey, I realized that these intertwined trajectories of personal and professional experiences imparted profound wisdom about the world of digital arts. It was an intriguing crossroads where my love for Zach intersected with my passion for VR and digital arts. This spin-off of my digital awakening steered me towards a profound path, one that allowed me to navigate the labyrinth of life while still holding on to the threads of personal growth and satisfaction. Every step I took further into our shared space, I was not just embracing an individual or a career, 
but a worldview that would come to define my journey ahead. Despite Zach and I ending our relationship being precipitated by our diverging career commitments, I began to see it as a necessary part of our individual progress. There was no malice or acrimony. More than anyone else, we understood the nuances of our profession and the realities that came with it. Our mutual ambition was our strength, and ironically, the cause of our separation. But the beauty of it all was that we never let it tarnish the relationship we'd built on mutual respect, shared interests, and an undeniable chemistry. It reminded me of something I had learned early on about the digital world. It's all about learning, unlearning, and relearning. Working as a freelancer, the world of 3D modeling and VR constantly pushes you to challenge your existing notions, embrace new ideas, and let go of redundant ones. It was the same with our relationship. Sometimes in life, you need to let go to evolve, just like you need to let go of a design that's not working no matter how attached you are to it. Each time I logged into Twitch to stream or started designing a new VR environment, I remembered this lesson. I learned to cherish what our relationship brought to my life, a love deepened by shared passion, enlightening discussions that made me a better artist and streamer, and memories that fueled my passion to create. I understood that a relationship is like a work of art. It is beautiful, it is complex, and sometimes it doesn't work out, but that doesn't undermine its value. This realization was a significant one in my journey, an experience that joined the fabric of my life and shaped me as an individual. It impacted my work as a digital artist and as a Twitch streamer, perhaps more than any other event in my life. Not only did it mark the end of my relationship with Zach, it marked a new chapter in my life, echoing my belief that every end is just a new beginning. Disconnecting the romantic aspect from our relationship was tough, but it was hardly the end. Our collaboration continued professionally, as we've always believed in the synergy of thoughts and ideas that we shared. We managed to transform our personal bond into a professional one, cementing our friendship while keeping the inevitable hurts and bitterness at bay. The way we reframed our relationship echoed how I dealt with the fast-paced and ever-evolving world of VR design and streaming, with resilience, adaptability, and an unerring optimism. Just like how I would embrace every new software, every innovative technique, and every shift in design trends, I embraced the conclusion of our relationship with acceptance and strength. In the grand scheme of things, it wasn't a loss, but an emblem of the evolving nature of life and relationships. The experience added yet another layer to my understanding of the world I inhabit, both personally and professionally. It was a poignant bookmark in my digital awakening, redirecting my life's trajectory and reinforcing my journey towards being a leading VR environment designer and popular Twitch streamer. As I let go of our relationship, it was not just a personal evolution, but it served as a parallel in my professional sphere. Just like my art, I had to let go, unlearn, relearn, familiarize, and welcome the new. The volatile nature of my profession demanded the ability to quickly adapt to change and accept new techniques and ideas, just like how one evolves and progresses in life. This period of simultaneous personal and professional transition was a defining chapter in my digital awakening. It wasn't long before I realized that the ephemeral nature of relationships mirrored the world of VR design and live streaming. Constantly evolving, occasionally disappointing, but ultimately thrilling and invigorating. I was beginning to see that every setback, every failure, was not an end but a stepping stone towards something more significant, something more fulfilling. I directed my life experiences into my work. Everything that occurred to me in my personal life was somehow reflected in the VR environments I created. My emotions, my learnings, the highs and lows, triumphs and afflictions, the progress and evolution, the ending and beginnings, they all found a way into my designs, diversifying and enriching them with depths of emotions and experiences. Every new project I undertook saw a bit of the former version of me adapting to the new, akin to each new interface. Every emerging tech trend requiring in-depth understanding, patience, and a knack for learning. I embraced these changes just as I welcomed the end of my relationship, with acceptance, boldness, and an unwavering spirit. The end of my relationship with Zach wasn't the loss it had seemed initially. It was an emblem of the evolving nature of life, of connections built and disconnected, of experiences gained and lessons learned. 
It was an integral part of my progress towards my goals, to be an influential VR designer and a renowned Twitch streamer. This redirection of my life served not as a setback, but as a critical juncture in my digital awakening. The lessons I learned from this phase enriched my understanding of my professional world and gave me the courage and resilience to witness endless such beginnings and conclude many more chapters confidently. My personal and professional trajectory started mirroring each other, their convergence reflecting in the VR environments I designed and the energy I put into each stream. Though it wasn't a smooth journey, it was definitely a promising start to a path that eventually rerouted me towards becoming the person I am today. Zealous, ambitious, resilient, and continuously evolving.